Hey guys, Happy New Year. It's 2015. Welcome back to the clinicaltrialsguru.com. I'm still getting emails from you guys. I'm still cranking out videos. I'm still getting more studies. Quarterly payments still make me sick. They probably make me even sicker now in 2015. Um, but I wanted to get to some of your guys' questions right now. I'm going to go through one of them right now. And uh, this year we'll be doing tons of videos, alright? So just stay tuned. If it's your first time here, thank you. If you're on YouTube, subscribe. If you're on the blog, subscribe. I'm going to be giving out tons of giveaways all the time. All kinds of stuff. You don't want to miss it, alright? So today's question, uh, and as I was going to say, if you're new here and you don't know how this works, you send in your questions. I'll keep you anonymous unless you specifically tell me otherwise. Dan at theclinicaltrialsguru.com or any social media network of your preference. So today's question is what roles do a CTA, that's a C, T as in Tom, and A perform in a clinical trial? So a CTA is not a person. A CTA, unlike a CRA, which is a clinical research associate, they're usually the monitors that monitor the study. A CTA is a clinical trial agreement. So whether you're an academic institution or a private institution, you're gonna have a clinical trial agreement in place. That's an agreement. It's essentially a contract between the sponsor and the CRO and your site, either your site or your hospital or your academic institution, whoever's conducting the study on behalf of the sponsor. So the CTA, they're typically about 14 to 20 pages they list out all the terms of the study, who gets publishing rights, how often you get paid, what constitutes a payment, what constitutes a screen failure, what the investigator's responsibilities are as far as maintaining good clinical practice, maintaining the records, um, even when the study is closed out, keeping the records on site, uh, allowing monitors access to the office for periodic reviews, uh, which are usually monthly. So these are all spelled out in the contract. I have tons of videos talking about how to negotiate better contracts. I'm hoping to come out with a book very soon in 2015 all about negotiating contracts and budgets. I've been putting that off for a while, but I also do a lot of Kindle books. I put out a lot of books, so this is the next one, how to negotiate better budgets and contracts in clinical research. So that's what a CTA is. It's a clinical trial agreement you need one in place to conduct a clinical trial, even if you're a nonprofit, even if you're a for-profit, or anything else in between. The clinical trial is not really official until you have an agreement in place between the sponsor and the site. All right? This is Dan from theclinicaltrialsguru.com. Happy 2015, and I look forward to making tons of these videos this year. Take care.